we have been working with direct sourcing for over 10 years now, so we know exactly our partners. We have this transparency already. The thing is that now with the EUDR, it gets uh, on, a, uh, on a different level, on a database level, so that you can um, automatically upload all the different uh, transparency data from each step of the supply chain. And we're still in the implementation process, which is uh, quite um, long and difficult in a way because there's so many other entities involved. Uh, it's, it's the farmer, it's the cooperative, sometimes it's the cocoa board because we source from around nine different countries. They're doing their part because they know that the European market is a huge market. It's, it's a challenge for everybody, that's, that's clear, but they're doing their work and uh, actually I, uh, when we last visited Peru and Ecuador on our farm and we visited some, some cooperatives, we actually uh, found that, and, and we got the impression that for the cooperatives themselves, it's also a push because it's a push in technology, a push in getting to know their own farmers. The key challenge is to get the data. What we are aiming at is to make it as easy as possible for the cooperatives and farmers. And then that, that means actually that we need to, to find a solution that is quick and easy for everybody. I think the automation is the most, most important part because you cannot hire 15 people to do the uploads of different plots. That's absolutely not possible, nobody wants that and it's not, it's, nowadays you don't need to do that if you have the, the correct equipment.